friends and welcome back to my channel! It is I, Erin! And today I've decided to do this steampunk inspired makeup look. So let's get into it. Hey guys, so my inspiration are these little charms from an arts and crafts store. And to start, I'm going to go ahead and trace out the outline of my gas mask. You don't have to be very neat with this because you can always clean it up with a Q-tip. Q-tips are the best. Next, we're going in with a high coverage foundation on the top of my face and also underneath of the mask. And I'm just blending this in with a beauty sponge. To set this in place, I'm gonna use a white powder and I'm just pressing that into the skin with a beauty sponge and then I'm going to brush off the excess with a fluffy powder brush. Then to start on my eyes, I'm going to pop a cool tone brown right into and above my crease. I'm also running it under my lower lash line and now I'm going to build up that crease color with a black. Because I have hooded eyes and I'm going to do a cut crease, I do take the color a bit above my actual crease. That's just a little hint in case you also have hooded eyes and want to do a cut crease. This is the best way for it, I think. To cut the crease, I'm going to use a very pale concealer and a flat synthetic brush and go ahead and cut out half of my crease. Once the concealer is laid down, I'm just blending out that outer edge with some black. And now I'm going to pop on some shimmer shades. I'm going to keep them in a very metallic, bronzy sort of color scheme. I feel like that works best with a steampunk inspired look. Inspired. And I'm using both my fingers and a flat smudger brush. Now I'm going to work on my eyebrows. And for them, I want to keep it a little bit more mask-like, so they're not going to be realistic at all. And I'm sketching them out with the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in black and filling them in with the NYX SFX Paint in black as well. And then I will also set them with some black eyeshadow. complete without a gigantic wing. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one on right now with the felt tipped eyeliner pen. And these are going to be pretty massive wings so just deal with it. And I wanted the wing to have a little bit more depth to it so I am widening it and filling it in with the NYX retractable eyeliner and then also smoking it out with the black eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with a shimmer bronzer on my forehead to make it look like I have been sweating away in a coal-powered city. <laughs> and then I will also highlight my center of my forehead and my nose with a champagne shade highlighter. Next, we're going to go ahead and fill in the whole mask with the black SFX paint from NYX. I did use a large brush to fill in most of the inner parts and then I am going back in with a small synthetic flat brush to get all the details that I need at the edges.
Because this is a mask, I am painting a little bit up the inside of my nose with that cream paint and then also going over my lips with a black liquid lipstick just to make sure everything is really covered and seamless. Now I am setting everything that I did with the cream paint with a black eyeshadow. Now I am going in with a bronze gold highlighter over the mask to make it really look shiny and sort of like a leather. And now I'm shading the bottom with a gray to give it a little dimension on the face and look like it is sitting on top of my face instead of being painted on my face. Now with some lash glue, I'm just painting it on the edges and I'm going to pop on some gears that I got at a craft store. I'm also doing the same thing on the inner edges of my eyebrows. Now we're getting into the more intricate part and we're going to go ahead and draw on a neck corset. And for this I'm outlining it with my NYX retractable eyeliner pencil. Once the outline is there, I'm going to go ahead and fill in with that NYX cream paint in black. small brush to make sure that I'm leaving the holes there for the strings to go through. I will highlight them later as well, but just to make it easier, I'm not putting any black product down in those areas. With a small angled brush, I'm using a white liquid lipstick and adding the details for the laces for the neck corset. Just as we did with the face, we're going to set all the black cream paint with a black eyeshadow. Now with a tiny synthetic detail brush, I am going in and defining the corset eyelets and laces even more. This is again with a white liquid lipstick, you could also use a white eyeliner. And then to really pop, I'm putting a liquid black liner over top as well. And with that, I decided to go ahead and get into my simple costume. I'm using a lace flower, and I turned those charms from the beginning into earrings. I really love the skull look that they have. And then I am attaching a leather bracelet around the flower to make it kind of look a little bit more like a steampunk hat. I feel like this submission could not be complete without actual false lashes, so I chopped up a few very voluminous lashes and I popped most of them on the top and then you will also see that I have popped some on the bottom as well in the outer corner just to create a really crazy cat eye experience. Now steampunk people are always living in coal powered cities so I added some more smudges all over my face to look like soot and there you go, let's pose. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!